Hello Brooks, hello folks, Brooksy Jolly Boys on the boat. Yeah, uh, we're out. This is my opening. We're out here with the Jolly Boys today. We're coming out for talk again. Let's hope we can have a few. We've just seen a few dolphins, good sight of battle about. Just hope and pray that we can get some, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Let's just show you the lads. We're here, we're having a, we're gonna have a good day, Harry. Good morning, boys. Oi, say good morning. Oi, say good morning. Say good morning, boys. So, Harry boys out in again. See how we go, and we'll take it from there, lads. Uh, Doing a nice search for mackerel first for a bit, and then we'll go from there. So until we start fishing proper and having a bit of fun, uh, I'll leave you for now, and I'll bring you back later in a bit, folks. Right, back, folks. Uh, fishing for mack, and so I've just come out with this little thing, a little, a little red, a little grey gurnard. I don't know whether it's a grey or a red. I'll ask Tony for sure. But uh, lovely yeah. fish. Just hold it like that, Trev, underneath to keep it up, and I'll take a photo of it. There you are. Lovely that, mate. Uh, bring you back in a bit, folks. Daz had the first fish of the day. Nice, nice little loss. Not your PB, but it's, not, it's the first fish of the day. And he can control it to calm down. There you go, mate. Let him go. Back to the briny. There you go. That's that one over. Bring you back in a bit. Yeah, it's still chucking the slick off that, Kev, isn't it? It's still chucking the slick off that. Did you have? Welcome back, folks. Another horse. Had another ross. Fishing is very slow at the moment. We've just gone on the drift, hopefully, to pick a few tubs. We got a huss here. Yeah. Just fetch it over here. Okay. Fetch it over here when he's ready, and I'll have a photo of it. No, we've missed it. And there you are, James. That's your horse. Put him back, mate. Let him go. Well done, James, lad. Well done. But there you go. There you go. That's that one done. That's a two horse cot. Up to now. It's not them we want, is it? It's the bloody top. Fishing slow at the moment, folks. This weather's not helping. It's been bloody windy today, isn't it, Trev? Eh? Yeah. You've got to be patient and see what happens. Welcome back folks, yeah, there's the pollock, we've had some pollock, not a decent, not big, but big enough to have a, a bloody hell there, that one wasn't going to survive, just showed the top of its head, Trev, uh, the hook went straight through its, straight through its head, it's dead, it's dead, so we'll keep it, put that back now, and uh, hopefully, like I said, it's going to take us for some bass, we can try. We're going to this other wreck he knows at the moment. We're going to have a bash on there and then we'll head back. We'll head back after and have a bash to somewhere else. Puffin Island there, Trev. So we'll wait and see what happens. That's all we can do. Um, see if we can have a go for the top after. So so we know what's happening, um, I'll let you go and I'll bring you back later on, in a bit more. Right, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Somebody's got you over there. Yeah, so there's been a husk cart. There's 
your doggy cart. Just tangle, tangle, tingle, tangles. Yeah, I love tangled over here. Mine's tangled up in there. I've survived it that I have at the moment, but for how long I don't know. <laughs> There's your weight there. I can see your weight, Trev. It's round the tail of his hoss. Yeah. He's tingling, tangling, tangling and tingling. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. One of them. Very slow today. Very, very slow. Kev's just had a nice hoss. It's close to, is that close to double, Kev, that? Is that close to a double? Yeah, it's a good double, that. Let's see. Yeah, Kev, it's close to a double. Put your hand underneath his chin. You put him underneath underneath his chin. Relax. Nice lep leopardy one, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Keep him there like that, Kev. There you go. <laughs> And there it goes back down to the deeps. So there he is. Not a bad us. That's fishing's been slow, lads, isn't it? Very slow today. I don't know. Can't put my finger on what's going on. I got a feeling it's something to do with the weather. It's uh, one of them because there's plenty of bait fish about, isn't there? Loads of mackerel about, I'm waiting, so there's plenty of bait fish, there's just no big fish to eat the bait fish, unfortunately. There we go. Anyway, uh, I'll let you go for now. Bring you back if we have anything else. Well, no joy on the top again at this mark. That's what's the mark now, this is the fourth one, isn't it? Fifth one coming up. Fifth one. <laughs> Fifth Bugger off. This is the fifth mark coming up now that we're looking for two and we just haven't been lucky. We've had us. We've had us. So you'll see a few of us. But no trope unfortunately. But can't can't catch him if they're not here. It's as simple as that. I mean the bait fish I mean I'm not being funny, the bait fish are here. And they there's plenty of bait fish about. So if the tote were around, they'd be feeding on them, wouldn't they? We should have had one. We should have had one. So it's not looking good, folks. Um, it's one of them. It's the time of year. It's the end of September, isn't it? You know? So where everything now starts getting colder, which it is today. It's a bloody cold day, isn't it? It's a cold day today. It is cold. So it starts getting... And then the bait, the, the fishing starts changing now. From now till the end of the month, next month, and then till all the winter fish move in, and then we'll be hopefully looking for uh, we'll hopefully be looking for the the likes of uh, cod and uh, cold fish. Can't wait for that trip again now to the other bay boy for the coolies. We'll definitely be going for that. We'll definitely be going for that. We had a great trip last year, didn't we, Rob? We had a great trip last year. Me, you, Rob, Kev, Kev and Glyn. It was a good trip, wasn't it? It was a good trip, plenty of callies about. Hopefully we can do that again. But we'll wait and see. Any road, folks, we're on the way to the new bar. So, uh, until we get there and start fishing, I'll leave you for now, in a bit. Well, folks, that's it. End of another trip. And i got to say, it was a poor trip. It was very poor. Um, yeah, uh, fished a 10-hour trip there. No top. 
plenty of beer fish around, so and the other boat Kerry came with Pat. No talk for him either. Tried, not about. They went ras ras fishing in the end. Um, and uh, it was. <sighs> I'm not tell you, folks. I can't even think. Um, yeah, it was poor, very poor. Lads kept saying that and all. I keep saying it. I keep saying it on this. Uh, I'll put it up on on YouTube, any road, just to show people, and then you can take it from there. You'll see what I mean. We had hoss. There was plenty of hoss about, just no talk. And my mate Trev, he had a a great gurnard. It's his first gurnard. I'm chuffed for him. That's a new species for him. Well done, Trev. Uh, plenty of doggies about. As you would imagine, eyes bigger than the belly. One doggy, Mark Fletcher had. I mean, it had it in its mouth. How it got it in its mouth, I don't know. His eyes were definitely bigger than his belly. Or Mark had a baby or something. So, without further ado, I'll show you the video. And take it to yourself. One thing I will say, I'm not happy with what the skipper did when we come in. Because uh, there was no water. We were lucky we could get off the boat. To be honest, I think he misjudged it myself. But there you go. Uh, another thing we weren't happy about is he kept moving. Got it, the, the baits weren't even setting, getting a chance to set a, 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 a scent out. And then he was, uh, right, lads, we'll move. It's not happening here. We'll go somewhere else. The lads were getting fed up. We were doing more travelling than we were fishing, you know. So I'm going to have to have a big think about going on the boat again. Um, I'll have a chat with the lads, see what they think. He, he, he said to me at the end, he said, uh, the skipper, he said, your best bet for Torp is August, July. Well, why didn't he say that? I could have cancelled the trip. It's pure and simple, you know. Any road, without further ado, uh, I'll get this video sorted now and I'll put it up. So, until the next trip, folks, which hopefully will be this Saturday, me, Trev and Pete Gabriel, we're out shore fishing. So... We're not sure where we're going yet, but we will decide before then. So without further ado, I'll let you go. I'm going to bed. I'm knackered. And uh, see you soon. Till then, all the best, folks.